హాయ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ యూఆర్ వాచింగ్ దీక్ష మెడికల్ రమణ ఛానల్ టైప్ దీక్ష మెడికల్ రమణ ఇన్ యూట్యూబ్ సెర్చ్ బార్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ అండ్ క్లిక్ బెల్ ఐకాన్ ఫర్ న్యూ అప్డేట్స్ హాయ్ హలో గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ హానట్ టు ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ మై సెల్ఫ్ టు ఎం రమణ యూర్ వాచింగ్ దీక్ష మెడికల్ ఛానల్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ సెకండ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ లూజ్ కనెక్టివిటీ ఇష్యూ ఇస్ అడిపోజ్ ఇష్యూ ఇట్ ఈస్ స్పెషలైజ్డ్ ఫర్ ద స్టోరేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్యాట్ ఎడిపోజ్ ఇష్యూ కన్సిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ లార్జ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఎడిపోసైట్స్ అండ్ ఎ ఫ్యూ ఫైబర్స్ జనరలీ వెన్ యూ కమ్ టు ద ఎడిపోజ్ ఇష్యూ ఎడిపోజ్ ఇష్యూ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ లూజ్ కనెక్టివ్ ఇష్యూ వై ఇట్ ఈస్ కల్ ఇస్ ద లూజ్ కనెక్టివ్ ఇష్యూ బికాస్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఎ లార్జ్ స్పేసెస్ ఆర్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ద ఎయిర్లా ఇష్యూ ఇన్ దాట్ సమ్ ఏరియాస్ ఆర్ ఫిల్డ్ విత్ ద ఎడిపోసైట్స్ అలాంగ్ విత్ దాట్ this tissue is mostly present in the beneath the skin or subcutaneous layer of the skin right so this tissue mostly used for the purpose of fat storage that's what is a specialized for the fat storage generally how the fat is formed in our body generally whenever we are taking the food the food is not completely utilized that means the excess nutrients which are not used immediately are converted into fat and stored in this tissue that means whenever you taking the food material that food is not used completely unused food material is converted to the fat and stored in this adipose tissue uh, adipose tissue is treated with the alcohol fat will be dissolved completely and adipocyte become a vacuolated right so on the basis of adipocytes there are two types of fat are found in the animals basically if you see the adipose tissue generally tissue is nothing but a group of cells and a group of cells along with that fibers and all will be there but we are taking a typical cell this typical cell we can call as adipocyte the adipose tissue is made up of adipocyte that adipocyte contain the fat storage area which is responsible for storage of fat and peripheral nucleus is present and plasma membrane everything will be present right so if you take uh, the differences or what are the types of adipose tissue generally generally basically there are two types of adipose tissue one is uh, white adipose tissue second one is brown adipose tissue the white adipose tissue if you observe the cell we can see very clearly the adipocyte contain large single fat globule that is storage of fat right they have only large single fat droplet is present in the complete cell right so maximum place is occupied by the fat only this type of fat is called monolacular fat what we can say monolacular fat so if most of the space is occupied the fat a little or a peripheral space is occupied by the nucleus and cytoplasm so due to presence of less area the number of mitochondria is also very less so this type of fat is mostly predominant in the adults and it is metabolically inactive because due to lack of the due to less number of mitochondria right mostly this type of uh, fat is useful for the just is the thermoregulation right but in the case of brown adipose tissue brown adipose tissue is made up of a, a group of cells a group of adipocytes are there now if you take one adipocyte the each adipocyte contain many droplets of fat globules right there are many droplets of fat globule and they have a large or more predominant cytoplasm is present and nucleus will be present so due to presence of more cytoplasm more mitochondria are present due to presence of more mitochondria they can be generate the more energy that's say in infants that means brown adipose tissue is a more predominant in fetuses and infants it's a metabolically very active that's say the main difference between the white adipose tissue and brown adipose tissue is white adipose tissue is predominantly dominant in predominantly no adults and brown adipose tissue is predominant in fetuses and infants fetuses is nothing but it during embryonic stage and infants are nothing but just born babies right next in the white adipose tissue there is a large 
single fat droplet is present that's what is called as a monocular flag but when you come to the uh, brown adipose tissue there is a many droplets of fat globules are present which are very small so if there is a small fat globules then we can call as a multi many are there that's what is called multi locular and very important thing is the white is uh, due to presence of kena okay, the white of adipose tissue does not have any color pigment but the brown adipose tissue contain the a color pigment is called cytochrome cytochrome is responsible for the color of the brown adipose tissue cytochrome is absent in the white adipose tissue an important point is the white adipose tissue is predominantly in adults right so white adipose tissue is a metabolically inactive because due to presence of less number of mitochondria but in the case of uh, brown adipose tissue metabolically active because it contain the more mitochondria which is responsible for the cellular respiration and they generate the energy in the case of children what happens you no know, they need more energy because their body surface is more so automatically heat loss is takes place so due to heat loss what happens you no know, the organism may fluctuate with the thermostat so that this brown adipose tissue play very important role in metabolic activities in the children right now come to that generally where it is present not only in human beings in other vertebrates where it is present generally in other vertebrates what is the advantage of adipose tissue so it is generally useful for thermo thermal insulation that means it is present generally it is present the below the skin or below the uh, skin layer that is nothing but a hypodermis which is responsible for the thermal insulator or thermal insulation thermal insulator is nothing but prevent the heat loss the animals which are lives in the water even though those are mammals you know how they have to regulate the body temperature due to presence of blubber blubber is nothing but it is a collection of fat which is present beneath the skin which form a blubber which is very good insulator for the aquatic mammals like sea cows whales and all next come to the camel camel generally lives in the desert areas whenever they need food material the excess food material they have to reserve in the hump that hump is stored it is meant for the storage of fat this fat is used for the metabolic activities when it is required palms are nothing but we have to see the surface of the hands and soles are nothing but a, the surface of the foot okay now here also there is a fat accumulated takes place that means adipose tissue is present this adipose tissue meant for are used for shock absorber right so here we talk about adipose tissue is nothing but it's also a type of loose connective tissue that means it is a mainly meant for storage of fat okay this is very useful for in the children or infants for the metabolic activities but in the higher or adult organism it is useful for the thermal insulator thank you